last episode for season one for Gotham. We're on episode 22. This one is called All Happy Families Are Alike. So, guys, I had a great time with uh, season one for Gotham. I thought it was really great. I thought it was excellent. I had a great time with it. I was entertained the entire way with the uh, with these episodes. I definitely cannot wait to get into season two. I don't know how good season two is going to be. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, so far, I love season one. I thought the show was good. I'm, like, investing in these characters. Uh, they really did a good job making you become attached to the characters and really getting to know these characters and actually caring about them. Definitely the person who plays, like, Bruce Wayne. He does a really great job playing him. Uh, of course, uh, Jim Gordon, a uh, person who plays him, does a great job. Harvey, everyone. They just all do a great job. Uh, Ed, same thing. So, but yeah, from this last episode, there's going to be a gang war in this one. So, it's going to be really tough. We already know it's going to be Falcon versus Maroney. Who's going to die? I have no idea. Are they both going to die? I don't know. But we're, we're going to see how it's going to go. We know that Maroney wants to go get Falcone. But he doesn't know who's really behind this, which is Penguin. Penguin's the one that's been behind this whole scene the entire way. So, but he wants them to kill each other so that he doesn't have to worry about none of them. Ed did kill the officer. Uh, you know, his name, I think it was Tom or whatever. And he cut him up. Disgusting, but he, he did whatever he had to do to protect Miss Kringle, even though she didn't ask for his protection. I think he did because he liked it, to be honest. You could just see when he stabbed him, you could see when he cut, you know, cut his, all his body parts, and he, and he looked at his skull. He likes it for some reason. And I'm glad that uh, Jim Gordon did save uh, Barbara from uh, the ogre. The ogre is dead from this last episode. I do feel bad for uh, Barbara's uh, parents that got killed by him. It was horrible. I mean, I feel bad for the, her character overall. My God, like, she went through a lot in that episode she really did it's just horrible but jim gore didn't kill the ogre and he's gone now so yeah anyway guys uh, the patreon sponsor for today is from tom uh, tom thank you for your uh support for this month i greatly appreciate it guys make sure you just go on the page and consider supporting the channel i greatly appreciate any support that does come around anyway guys let's get into this next episode for gotham still looking for secrets are we sir or just breaking stuff secrets i don't know what city's going to do lally around us i mean there's a bloody war on the street i remember I tried to sneak in to see him, but the door was locked. Yeah, well, I suppose so when he was working. Why, though? Why lock the door? Father's secret, it's in this room. I know it. I know it! He's gonna tear this place apart, man. Right. Person who doesn't have secrets doesn't lock doors. Hello, young lady. I like your style. Go again. Hello. Hello. Oh no. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Penguin, thank God. Get me out of here. It was me, old friend. I did this to you. <laughs> I started the war. From the day I met you, I was planning your end. Oh my God. Say la vie. I'm gonna be the king of Gotham. Never. You're going to burn in hell. Nobody move. <clears throat> Walk away. Shut up. You're both under arrest for attempted murder. Get on the winning side. Winning side, my ass. Maroney's a fool, he can't replace me. A thousand rivals will jump up to challenge him. I agree. But can you turn things around? Can you take back control? Of course. Two days at my safe house. I need two days to make some moves. And I'll skin Maroney and those disloyal scum like rabbits. Wake up, Napoleon! Maroney's lobs are minutes away from coming here and cutting your throat. So seriously, you need to uncuff me. Jim! I'm doing this for the city, not you. You're the least worst option. If I didn't think you could take back control, I'd let you die. Maroney's men will kill me. Possible. No, you, you arrested us. You owe me a favor, Jim. You owe me. Die. Let's go. Detective Gordon. Good morning, fellas. What can I help you with? As usual, wrong place, wrong time. You're a disgrace, Lope. I hope to see you behind bars very soon. He's all yours. Wow, Lope. <laughs> Go. Boss, boss, look out. Get down. This is freaking 
nuts. Anybody who did is dead. We'll be safe here. Nope. Fish move. Hello. Wait, what? Oh, there's a fish. What's up? Selena? What the hell? Oh my god. I know. I know. Sometimes I astonish myself. I just made a sweet deal with Moroni. He just told me I could have all my territories back. And all I have to do in return is give him Carmine's head. Fisher, I need to go lie down. What did you do to that poor soul, you sadist? I assure you, you will die a slow, painful death on account oh. of the witch. You too, Carmine. Are you gonna kill him? I love this girl. <laughs> I can't believe Jason she's part of this group. Me. So there he is. Fish? You mysterious, crazy, gorgeous killer, you. I love you. You're hard to kill, old man. No. Your people are second rate. Mooney, if I may, a brief word. I know my life is forfeit. I speak not for my sake, but yours. Well, I still love and respect you. Kill me oh, yeah. if you must, but keep Falcon alive. Mooney has no use for you. You are simply a threat. He will kill you. Oh. Why would he need another boss in town? Another rival? That's oh, where no. you're wrong, smart guy. <laughs> he's not a rival because she's not a boss. She's an underboss. An underboss takes orders. I don't take orders. I know that. We're cool. Relax. I'm relaxed. I don't think you are, babes. Please don't call me babes. You see? Not relaxed. I'm partner number one, and you're partner number two. That's the deal, right? I'm number one, and you are... Number two. There you go. Simple math. One, two, babes. Oops. Sorry. It's the last time. We're building a dynasty. We will whip this town like a rented mule. Right, babes? Oh, no. <laughs> Relax. We'll call her babes. Or toots or what have you. Yeah, it's a woman's lip thing. I am relaxed. This killed him. Yep, the <laughs> Damn, I knew it was gonna. We've been circling around. Kind of feeling subject, but pissing her off. Can I hand it to you, Fish? You really know how to stop a show. I couldn't help myself, Harvey. The man vexed me. Crazy move. Possibly a good move, too. We'll see. You could be looking at the new queen of Gotham. Congratulations, my dear. I'm quitting, Fish. I'm out. Gonna retire someplace warm, lay back, read your little funny papers. That was the thought. No! Oh, this is nuts. Mom used to call me her little piggy when I was little. They threw away my posters. Never nurtured my self-esteem. They have no clue who I am. Even when I was killing them, they just gaped at me like fools. No understanding. Jason Lennon killed your parents. You didn't kill them. Yes, I did. What? I stabbed them several times. <laughs> I'd like to leave now, please. You uncomfortable? How about now? Mark's crazy! What the hell? Are you serious? <laughs> Lee, Lee, oh! Yeah, get her! Lee! Went crazy. Told him that woman was trouble. Damn. Oh. Butch, about time. Shooter, Butch. Oh, really? No, you're training. I order you to shoot him. Ah! Don't listen to him! 
You did something to your mind! Kill her now! God, what did I do? I'm so sorry. You'll be fine. You know me. Ah! Goodbye, fish! It's all good. Ah! She's definitely dead. Oh my god. This note Officer Doherty left for me. The first letter of every line spells out your name. How that how how odd. What what a, what an amazing coincidence. Coincidence. What else could it be? Do you know nothing about this? I mean, no. No. <laughs> He's about to laugh. Oh no! You're the guy that likes riddles. Why are you laughing? Like you stand a chance with her. She knows how you feel about her and she treats you like dirt. Treats you like dirt. I don't care. I still love her. She is so weird. So weird. Marcus Rullius. Marcus Rullius! What about it? He was a Roman emperor. Yes, well, I'm fully aware of that, Master Bruce. The Bat Cave! The Bat Cave! What? Oh, come on! Guys, this is a great last episode for Gotham for season one. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, Falcone did survive in this one. I thought they were both going to be dead. Maroni got killed by a fish Mooney. Penguin threw a fish Mooney off the ledge. And we don't know if she's dead. It doesn't say if she's dead or not. She just went in the water. She could have survived. We don't know. I'm pretty sure we'll probably see her again if she's not dead. But the secret that his dad had, uh, Bruce Wayne's dad, was... The Bat Cave. Well, it's not called the Bat Cave, but the secret underground cave that he has under the uh, his house. So Alfred and uh, Bruce Wayne discovered it together, and I was actually pretty cool, like how he went all over the, his room, you know, Thomas Wayne's uh, his uh, work room, and found the uh, the button to open the Bat Cave. That was super cool. I mean, this war against Maroni and Falcone, and then seeing you know Penguin and then Fish Mooney come around was just freaking chaotic, insane. It was thrilling it was everything it was just crazy that's all i could think about how it looked and then uh selena kyle joining with uh fish mooning in her group and stuff i'm like oh my god it's like she just she's kind of weird though it's just like she just joins certain things she just i don't know she doesn't feel like she's belong so she wants to belong to a family or whatever so she would just join fish mooning that quick it's kind of weird but she did do that i'm just really wondering how how selena kyle is going to be in the future like definitely like season three or season four like i'm wondering like around there penguin thinks he's the king of the uh, gotham because now fish mooney's gone he already knew that uh falcone quit so he's the new king of gotham but really the person who's really going to uh, control Gotham and help save Gotham is Jim Gordon, really. So obviously, uh, Gordon is not going to get any favors from Penguin anymore. I'm 100% sure that's not going to happen anymore, but we'll see how it's going to go between those two and how the relationship relationship's going to be. And the biggest one, obviously, is Barbara going crazy on Lee. She said, I killed my parents. I did all that stuff. And I don't know if that's true or that's just, I don't know. It seemed like she was true the way she, it sounded. She seemed convinced that she's the one that did it. I have no idea to be honest, but she did go crazy. She went ballist ballistic in that episode. Yeah, overall guys, this was a great uh, last episode for uh, Gotham. I definitely cannot wait to get to season two. This was freaking excellent. Please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure you just go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction. Also consider supporting the channel as well. Anyway guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in season two.